With Markel Fultz's visit with the Sixers, the consensus is the negotiations between Philly and Boston are all but a done deal. According to Woj, in exchange for the number one pick, the Sixers would send the third overall pick and the Lakers first round pick next year to the Celtics and possibly a 2021 first rounder. It doesn't seem like the Celtics were satisfied Fultz could play next to Isaiah Thomas. And with the third pick, presumably the Celtics would draft Josh Jackson from Kansas, who many have said is adored by the Celtics GM Danny Ainge. But reports are saying trading back isn't all the Celtics want to do. Ainge may be simply acquiring multiple picks so he can deal for Jimmy Butler and bring in a real nightmare defender for LeBron. And Stephen A. Smith said yesterday the rumblings around the league are the Celtics think they can get both Jimmy Butler and Gordon Hayward. The Bulls apparently have expressed interest in acquiring the third overall pick. If I were Danny Ainge and we're very similar people, we're both mammals, we both love Chipotle despite the side effects, I don't believe this would be a three-way trade, but by draft day, this is what Danny Ainge is praying for. The Sixers would get the first overall pick and take Markel Fultz. The Celtics add Jimmy Butler and the Lakers 2018th from Philly, while the Bulls get the third overall pick along with Jay Crowder, who would have to go if the Seas were to bring in both Butler and Hayward and the 2021st first rounder acquired from the Sixers. And if Boston could get Gordon Hayward to sign, suddenly the league has its next super team. The starting lineup would be Isaiah Thomas at point, Avery Bradley at the two, followed by Gordon Hayward and Jimmy Butler, and Al Horford at the center position. That's a veteran lineup with 10 combined all-star appearances, with a young developing defensive-minded bench of Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Terry Rozier, and Tyler Zeller. The Celtics may also promote their two biggest draft and stash players, Zizic and French Draymond. Also, if there's any cap space left, they could bring back Gerald Green, Jonas Jarebko, Amir Johnson, or Kelly Olynyk, who are all free agents, but certainly not all of them. As a Celtics fan, the prospect of this super team coming together is exciting, but they would still have valuable future draft picks and be able to challenge LeBron and the Warriors right away. Between short-term and long-term, they'd get the best of both worlds. And perhaps most importantly, if Boston were able to get past Cleveland, it might be enough to scare LeBron out of the East next year. That could pay off down the road. It would only increase the likelihood of him wearing a Lakers uniform two seasons from now.